What is there to do in downtown Dade City? Downtown Dade City is anchored by the old historic courthouse that you see behind me. In about a week, this entire area that you see here is going to be overtaken by people visiting downtown Dade City for the Kumquat Festival. If you don't know what a Kumquat is, I'm gonna tell you and also stick around because I am gonna show you how to make the famous kumquat pie. So make sure you stick around for that. It falls on the last Saturday of January each year, which happens to also be when the Gasparilla uh, parade is in the downtown Tampa area. That is where a lot of people get dressed up as pirates, sexy pirates, things like that. And they, have a whole day in the Tampa area, on the water, on the roads, in downtown Tampa. If you're looking for something where you're not having to dress up like a sexy pirate, uh, you can come to the Kumquat Festival for a more wholesome environment. And you could dress up as a pirate. You might get some funny looks, but you could definitely do it, I guess. A lot of vendors that come to the area with unique crafts and goods by the way, I am Allison Newland, broker, owner of Platinum Properties of Florida. So if you need help with buying and selling real estate in the area, let me know. The Kumquat Festival happens to be one of my favorites because you can just, if you can get the right parking spot, you have to know how to navigate the back ways of town a little bit so that you can avoid some of the traffic. But once you get in, you get a parking spot and then you can easily navigate through all of the streets of Dade City and you can pick up uh, little interesting gifts for people. You can pick up things for yourself. You can get some good food. Of course you can. In most cases, there have been years where you could not grab a bag of kumquats, but many times you can grab a bag of kumquats and all of the different uh, things you can make with kumquats. They sell that stuff here too. Uh, the kumquat jellies and the dressings and things like that. They have a whole section from the kumquat growers where you can purchase kumquat goods um, and um, if you've never tasted that little fruit and you're not sure how to eat it uh, watch the video that i'm going to pop up here uh, at the top here and then you can watch it and know how to eat that fruit as promised i said i was going to show you how to make a kumquat pie it is not hard you do not have to be a baker all you need to do is get a few items from the store and some kumquats obviously and follow the instructions and you don't even have to bake there's no baking involved so i am going to show you how to do that it's very easy and it's delicious it's flipping delicious and they sell a ton of them here at the kumquat festival they sell a ton of them here on the day of the kumquat festival so if you uh, want to buy one they usually support local charities make sure that you get one uh, they sell them in front uh, close by the courthouse um, and people go nuts for them so if you can't make one definitely buy one i'm here at the kumquat growers grove this is where they grow all of the kumquats and it is located in dade city but a part of dade city that's called saint joseph's and the locals call it saint joe so kumquat capital of the world it's actually in dade city it's on the outskirts of dade city it's in the county of pasco county oh my gosh i wanted to mention that the kumquat pie that i'm going to make for you is the official pie of pasco county who knew right so you're going to learn how to make the official pie of pasco county florida which is the kumquat pie and i'm going to show you how to do that and i got my kumquats here at the kumquat growers uh, gift shop and i also got the kumquat puree here now you can make your own puree from the kumquats but i bought mine and then i also bought some kumquats to eat now i'm going to show you how to make the kumquat pie it's super easy to do there's only a handful of ingredients you start with a container of cool whip i use the Publix brand so one container of this you're going to use a can of sweetened condensed milk um, again i use the Publix brand as you can see here you are going to get one prepared graham cracker crust easy peasy then you're going to get um, uh, you need a half a cup of lemon juice and I'm gonna uh, fresh squeeze mine that's pretty easy to do and you're gonna need two-thirds of a cup of kumquat puree 
I bought mine at the Kumquat Growers gift shop. If that is not available to you, you just need to get some kumquats and you'll need to cut off the top and get the pits out and then put it in the blender and puree it. And there you have your kumquat puree. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by putting all of my Cool Whip into a bowl. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna pour this in here. Get rid of that. If you don't have one of these, you should have one of these in your kitchen. get about a half a cup you're going to need two lemons yeah, yeah perfect two two lemons equals a half a cup so I will pour that right in there. The kumquat growers, they sell these. Oh, I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in. I guess that's probably two thirds of a cup. If not, so what, it's a little bit more. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm, there's, I don't have a need to use any of it for anything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the whole thing right in here. pie crust ready to go. Look, it's all ready. Even better, I'm gonna get out my mixer and I'm gonna mix it together instead of hand stirring it. That's gonna make it all come together a lot smoother. I probably did that for less than a minute. After you mix it all together, it's ready to pour into the pie crust. Make it nice and smooth. Like that. If you like key lime pie, this is similar to that. Now, the directions say to put it into the refrigerator and let it chill for about an hour. I like to put mine in the freezer and let it stay there for a couple of hours. I like that consistency a little bit better. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of kumquat, put it on the top for decoration. Very simple. I'm gonna get my my lid. I'm gonna take off the little. It's got some glue things. I'm gonna get rid of those, and then I'm gonna take the lid and I'm gonna put it right on top. You gotta kind of undo the edges a little bit so you can put the lid back on it. Then I'll put it in the freezer for a couple of hours and it's done, it's done. For more information about living in and around Dade City, Florida, watch this video.